In this video, we'll take a look at four different examples of a tableau, and then we'll be asked the question, based upon the tableau, does a maximum exist? If it does exist, what is it? And at what point does this maximum occur? So a student has been performing the simplex method in order to maximize an objective function. The current tableau is shown. To determine if a maximum exists, we would analyze the left side of the bottom row. If all the entries are non-negative, the tableau is complete and we have a maximum. So looking at the left side of this bottom row, notice how all the entries are non-negative. So the answer is yes, a maximum does exist. And now we can determine the maximum and at what point the maximum occurs by determining the basic or active variables. We can determine their value straight from the table and the non-basic or inactive variables are all equal to zero. So for review, the active variables or basic variables are listed here on the far left, x sub one, x sub two, and p. We can also determine them by analyzing the columns. The active variable columns only contain a single one and zeros. Notice the column labeled x sub one, x sub two, and p only contain a one and zeros. So first notice how the maximum of p, our objective function, equals 225. So that's the second question. The maximum exists, what is it? It's p equals 225. Analyzing the table, we also know that x sub one equals 425 and x sub two equals 450. So x sub one equals, again, 425, x sub two, is equal to 450. The inactive or non-basic variables, s sub one and s sub two, are equal to zero. So all of the non-basic or inactive variables are set to zero. So the point at which the maximum occurs, x sub one and x sub two would be the variables we're solving for. So the point would be x sub one comma y sub one, or 425 comma 450. Looking at our next example, same question, different tableau. Notice how the left side of the bottom row is still non-negative, which means a maximum does exist, so we have yes. And what is the maximum, and at what point does it occur? Notice how here, the active or basic variables are s sub two, s sub one, and p. Looking at the columns to verify, notice s sub one, s sub two, and p columns only contain a single one and zeros. So the maximum of P equals 450. That's our maximum. S sub one equals 375 and S sub two equals 125. So S sub one equals 375. S sub two equals 125 which means our inactive variables or non-basic variables x sub one and x sub two are both equal to zero. Remember, these would be the variables of our objective function and our constraints, and therefore the point, again, is x sub one comma y sub one, which would be zero comma zero in this case. Looking at our next example, analyzing the left side of the bottom row again, all the entries are non-negative, and therefore a maximum does exist, so the answer is yes. Our active or basic variables now are x sub two, s sub two, and p, which again we can verify by looking at the columns, x sub two, s sub two, and p. These columns only contain a one and zeros. The maximum of p equals 350. That's our max. And this occurs when x sub two equals 100 and s sub two equals 475 which means x sub one and s sub one would be zero. So x sub one equals zero, x sub two equals 100, s sub one equals zero, and s sub two equals 475. Remember s sub one and s sub two are the slack variables. For our solution is x sub one comma y sub one, so the point would be zero comma 100. Let's look at one more example. Looking at the left side of the bottom row, notice how we have a negative entry here. 
So the second column would be the pivot column. So these three entries would be the possible pivots, but the pivot has to be positive, and therefore there's no suitable entry for the pivot. And this happens when the feasible region is unbounded and there is no optimal solution or no maximum. So in this case we say, based upon the tableau, does a maximum exist? The answer is no. Again, because the feasible region is unbounded, because there's no suitable pivot. So for the second part, it says if no max exists, we enter DNE. This is for our homework system, so we'll enter DNE here. And we'll enter DNE also for this third question. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.